Hey cakers, I hear all the time people saying, I don't know how people can expect to get a quote, I'll fix my hair up, looks a bit dodged today, can expect to get a quote uh, on a cake when they send an inquiry saying, hey, I want to order a cake, how much are they? And it else in the caking community, the cake decorators think it's hilarious that customers ask this time and time again. And I also hear people say, I'm really concerned I'm not getting cake orders because I'm too expensive. What am I doing wrong? Do I have to price differently or quote differently? Should I have a contact form on my website so that I can fill in all the information so I can give a proper quote? Is that where I'm going wrong? And it's really not. I'm, I'm going to tell you a really easy three-step process for replying to really random cake inquiries and to get that cake quote, to get that cake order as well. So hi, my name is Rebecca from Angel Foods. I'm a cake business expert for those of you who don't know me. So to the question, I want to order a cake, how much does it cost? There is no way in the caking industry that we're going to be able to stop customers asking that question. And the reason is customers aren't meant to know any better. Yes, they're asking us, how long is a piece of string? And is it, you know, you can't just say 40 bucks or cakes, $40. <laughs> because they love that, right? Um, but what we say, or what I say to you is that it's our job as cake decorators with our own cake business to teach them, to teach the customers what information we need to get a to be able to accurately quote. So what we can do, so how much does a cake cost? Say hi, not a problem. My cakes start at $40 for a six inch round buttercream cake. I'm happy to give you a more accurate quote if you could please answer this, this and this. So another cake decorator had asked me, you know, should I change my website, have this massive form for people to fill in saying, you know, how many serves they want to feed, what budget they have, how many tiers, what type of icing, what's their theme, what's their design, what's their colour that they want, so I can give them a really accurate quote. And I want to save you the time and energy. I've done this before and it doesn't work to get cake orders. So the three-step process to getting cake orders and responding to these inquiries is number one, the power of threes. So when you overwhelm someone, when you ask too many questions, when you bamboozle them, they're just going to walk away. If they're confused, they're just going to walk away. If they're not 100% sure, they're just going to walk away. So that's how you're not going to get a cake order. So by asking too many questions, they're just going to walk away because that seems easier. Um, and by asking really hard questions like, okay, what's your thing? What's your design? How many people are you feeding? What's your budget? Blah, blah, blah. They're probably things they haven't really thought about. They might have an idea of, but they need to stop and sit for a couple of minutes. And because we're all so busy in today's society, if you have that on your website, they will walk away because, unfortunately, people are lazy. They're lazy because we're time poor. So you've got to understand your customer, your target market, that they're not going to fill in that form. And I've already tested it on my website. It doesn't work. I got virtually no inquiries through my website after I changed that. So I quickly changed it back. So a very simple contact form on your website, name, email address, inquiry. Just a very, very simple contact form. And you'll still get those inquiries saying, how much is a cake? But then we work with rule number one power of three. So power of three is ask three questions. Give three choices. Give three options. When we have three, we can choose one, two or three. We, we know what's the best option for us. So when we say, do you want a one tier cake, two tier cake, three tier cake? Oh, yep, or oh, two tier. We have that option. When you say just how many tiers, well, I don't know. How do you think I should have? I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like yet. But let's just shorten it down. So power of three. So when you get an inquiry of how much is a cake, I would re recommend replying with with three questions and three questions only. So the simple ones being what date is the um, cake order for? What's your budget? Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a third one. And it could, be, depending what they've told you, it could be, hey, do you have a theme? And then they reply. And then you go back and say, okay, 
how, oh, one of the first questions could be how many people is it feeding? But if you haven't got that one, say, okay, how many people is it feeding? Would you like it delivered? And do you have a colour that you, you would prefer? And then you're starting to get an idea. I don't like to spend very long on cake inquiries at all because we all know you can spend one to two hours getting it really, really accurate, lots of detail and still not get that cake order. So I always give uh, rough estimates on cake inquiries until they become an order and then I give them a confirmed quote. So say we're at round two of emails, they've given me a budget, they've given me a number of people feeding and I, I know I'm available for that date. You always want to know that date first to know if you're available. Um, I will then give them three options. So they've given me a rough budget of $100. It's probably unrealistic as we know with our, our customers uh, that they want a two-tiered fondant cake. But I'll tell them what they can get for $100. So that might be a small two-tiered buttercream cake with basic decorations, for an example, not, not definite. It might be a small round fondant cover cake with a, this, um, some decorations. So I will then give them three options for their budget and for their inquiry. Uh, one will be their budget, one will be above their budget, one will be below their budget. So if it's a $100 budget, um, I will offer them uh, the, something I can do in that design. I'll Google images and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking about, what do you think? I'll say this is what you can get for the $75 mark, which would be, for example, a slab cake or a buttercream cake um, with basic piping. And this is what you could get for $200 or $250. So that would be the awesome two-tiered fondant covered cake that looks amazing, which most people aspire to have. And when they get a breakdown of saying these three things, they see what the difference is in their budget and their what they can afford and can't afford and what you know they potentially might buy in the future. And you've given really good customer service. So number two, the so number one being the power of three, break things down into three choices, three options. Sorry, I spat you a little bit. Um, and I'll make it easier. And I've just forgotten number two. Mm, it'll come to me. Uh, and then being that you give them the choice and options, that oh, number two being customer service. You've given them really really good customer service saying hey um yep i hear you that's your budget here's a really quick quote for you here's you know something below your budget even cheaper that's a nice surprise and here's something you know really beautiful and amazing oh i'd really like to get that for my daughter's first birthday party i'm planning a really big one in my head in the next couple of months so i might go something like that a two-tier fondant cake for that so you've given them exceptional customer service. And then number three, don't play with your website. So don't change it into that really long form of lots of drop downs. Just keep it nice and simple. You will still need to teach your customer um, about the cake industry. It's not their job to know about the cake industry. It's our job because it's our business and it's our passion. And that's what we become knowledgeable on because we've researched it and we do it every day. It's not the customer's job to know that. So I think I take it on myself to teach them. So hopefully you got value from this video. I would love it if you would share it with your cake decorating friends um, and come on over to angelfoods.net. See ya.